So I'm going to cook a you know, really lovely dish that my mum used to cook. It's boeuf bourguignon, a classic French beef stew with lots of lovely things in it. And the first thing you need is the chuck steak. So it's very important to get a nice piece of beef like this. Now, you need to trim it up a bit. Um, so you want to get rid of the sinews. So I'm just going to trim off the pieces so it kind of breaks off in its natural uh, sinews. This is a really um, great cut of meat because it, it, it is quite reasonably priced. It's chuck, so it's, it's very much um, a kind of quite a tough piece of meat. And it's got lots and lots of sort of sinews in there. And that's why it tastes so good because, you know, it's cooked for a long, long time. So all those kind of bits of fat and sinew break down and make it incredibly tender. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of chop it in slices. So you've got um, these kind of like two, three centimetre cubes. And as you can see, it's really sort of quite tough meat. So it will take about three hours of cooking. And it, you know, my mum used to make it the day before, so that flavour used to sort of go through, and the next day it would be even stronger and, and, and more delicious. I mean, you can eat it straight out of the oven once it's been cooked, but it's actually better the next day. So, my mother's um, was a big inspiration in my cooking, because, you know, we used to eat really well as kids. You know, we used to have lovely food at home. I think my first food experience, I should have realised I was going to be a chef, because I think when I was about six years old, I actually um, wrote a little menu and made these... Um, Sandwiches, sort of sandwich menu. I think it was only like two sandwiches on the menu, but I kind of went out into the into the uh, garden with my parents, who are sort of keen gardeners, gardening, and I would go with the, you know these two um, two sandwiches on the menu, and, and they would sort of choose one and sort of you know pretend it was a kind of big long menu. <laughs> so we're just gonna put some flour onto the beef. That'll give it a nice bit of colour, and it will sort of thicken up the sauce slightly. But first of all, we're gonna get the um, smoked bacon. So smoked bacon, and then just a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So we'll get some oil. In goes the bacon. So what I want to do is try and get all of that fat out of the bacon. So the, the fat then sort of seasons the beef. The beef's got, you know, a nice amount of flour on it. I'm just going to take it away from all that excess flour. Just so it's just lightly coated. Not too much. It'll just, the sauce become too thick. So take that off. A little bit of salt. Not too much because the, um, the bacon's quite salty. Just make sure that's all goes in together. And then I'm just going to pop that in the pan. I want to get a nice bit of colour on it. Okay, so... The last thing you want to do is start stirring the beef straight away because what will happen is all the flour will come off and the beef won't brown, it will just go all sort of sort of soft and almost boil in the pan. So, I get rid of that, get rid of our red board. And then this is where all the chopping starts. So we've got some uh, carrot, some onion, and I'm just going to chop that up nice and fine. So, different knife, different job, different knife. Peel again. You never have a sharp enough knife, I would say. Okay, and then just cut the carrot in sort of long strips. Now, don't worry about it too much. I mean, think, you know, some people spend hours chopping vegetables to the sort of perfect size, but I wouldn't worry about it too much because it's going to be cooking for a long time. It's going to be cooking for three hours, so it'll be very well cooked. So, the carrot's there for sort of sweetness, you know, Onion and carrot and celery and those kind of ingredients are sort of always brilliant in stews or soups because they add a sort of a natural sweetness to them. If you don't have them, it can taste a little, can be a little bit bland. So that's our carrot. Then a bit of onion. He's like this nice better for that. So this, this is my mum's recipe. I mean, it's kind of, you know, the classic boeuf bourguignon, you know, will take kind of days to make. You've got to strain everything and it's all kind of quite, quite precise. This really is a sort of chuck it in the oven and hope, well not hope for the best, it's going to always taste good, but you chuck it in the oven, wait three hours and, and eat it. So it's, it's, um, it's a bit of a foolproof recipe really. And it's something that, you know, my mother's kind of a, a very much cooks with her heart, so it was kind of that sort of style that, you know, I, that's why I cook with my heart too. But it, it, it's that sort of way of cooking where it is quite sort of simple. Just pop the garlic. So what we're going to do, we're going to just turn the beef over, just have a look at it. So it's got a nice bit of colour on it now and all that sort of fat from the bacon has all kind of you know gone in, gone into the, the meat so that sort of salty smokiness or kind of the flavour will develop into the beef and then a bit of onion and there you go there's the onion and the carrot and then we're just going to make sure that all goes in together and starts sealing off so just stir that so it's all kind of incorporated together in the onion and the, and the, and the carrot cooks. A bit of garlic, I'm just going to show a 
clove of garlic in. And then now we're gonna have the herbs. So we've got some, uh, some thyme and a bit of bay leaf. I'm gonna use some of these potatoes, but I'm also gonna put one, actually two, in the stew, because it gives a lovely sort of depth of flavor. A little bit of thyme, a few of that, not too much, just a bit. Pop that in with the bay leaf. And then now we're gonna add a little bit of tomato puree. So a little squirt of tomato puree. And some chopped tomatoes. That's the tomatoes, so chopped tomatoes. Give it a nice stir. Then plenty of red wine, you know, really nice, good, robust red wine. You can use pretty much most things, really, but something quite, quite dry is a good, good choice. So that's the wine. And then beef stock. Now, you can buy beef stock, you can buy stock cubes and everything, but if you can be bothered to make it, it makes such a difference. But uh, you could use chicken stock, it's fine. Okay, so we've got pretty much everything in there now. We've got the bay leaf, the beef, everything. And then we're just gonna add some of these little onions. Now, normally, traditionally, they'd fry them off and with the little lardons of bacon, but we're just gonna sort of throw it in because this is quite, quite a quick and easy version of it. So in go the little pearl onions. Give it a really nice stir. Make sure it's stirred just enough liquid, just so it's sort of, just sort of sitting, it's kind of covered in a, in a, in a bit more. And then lid on. You can always add a bit of liquid if it seems a bit dry. So we're going to put it in the oven for three hours at 170 degrees, 160, 170. Um, if you feel it's cooking too quick, turn it down a bit. And if it seems a little bit dry, add a bit of stock. But you need to cook it for quite a long time because the you know, chuck steak is quite tough. So in she goes. And then this one's been cooking for about three hours. And Cool, smells good. Right, now it's very important to actually let it rest. So you want to get all those sort of flavors to kind of, you know, the meat sort of tenderize. You can cut it, eat it straight away, it'll be a little bit hot and not so nice. So you let it sort of rest a bit. Okay, so let's have a little taste, shall we? So, now it should be really, kind of really, really soft. So if I pick up a piece of meat, you should just be able to sort of break it with a fork and this is perfect. And then it's going to, Mmm, delicious taste, just like my mum's, absolutely perfect.